Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to talk about giving up on Garble. So, I've had this long love affair with Garble, I must admit, uh, for, you know, probably three or four years now. However, Garble and I have been kind of falling out of love of lately. And, and so, a, a lot of the challenge really isn't, you know, Garble itself. It's been more so the interaction or communication with, with poorly... Uh, implemented UARTs in the, you know, Arduinos and things like that, uh, that have just been causing me a lot of frustration. And, and so uh, with that, I've been looking for other solutions because one of the pieces I want to get into seeing and seeing more things um, in, the, in the near future. And to do that, I needed a better solution. So I went looking for one and this is what I came up with. Now, this was about 200 bucks. Um, you know, which maybe sounds a little bit costly in comparison to Garble, but really, if you think about it, um, you know, with Garble, you have to have a computer attached and ensure you can use a Raspberry Pi, uh, and you can do some other things, and, and you know, maybe for 40, 50, 60 bucks, sub 100 bucks, um, you know, you can get a solution running. And so that's great, and, and, I, and I don't overly fall Garble, and I think the, the work that the, the Garble folks are doing are great on the software, but again, the embodiment of it is, I think, uh, more of the problematic side where I'm falling out of love with it. So the idea of going with this is, again, this is more of a commercial version. Now, the other thing is, for the, for the most part, standard Garble can only do three axes. Now, I've seen, you know, that there are ports to the Mega, which, you know, uh, like on a 3D printer can do four axes and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, quite frankly, that, you know, to me, it's a little bit more voodoo than I want to invest in doing it. Because what I really want to focus on is the creation with the CNC, not so much wiring it up and making it work. While that's fun and I don't mind doing it a little bit, that's not my real goal. Uh, so with that, um, I decided on this unit. So this can do four axes. This comes, I think, in a three, four, and five axis version. I got the four because I really want to start messing around with the fourth axis on my 3040, and so this gave me a path to do it. Uh, the other piece that I liked, and there's several different versions, and I'll do some overlays in the corner of other versions, where you basically have a control panel Whereas this one has sort of a pendant. Now, they really don't refer to this as a pendant because you can also uh, attach a pendant here. So it's got an MPG port here where you can also plug in a pendant. But I'm not seeing a lot of the logic because I, I've got this pendant. I haven't even removed the plastic yet on it. But you can see it's got the motion controls here and, and everything. Uh, so I guess why you would need a pendant in addition to this, I, I don't know. You could have a little spinny wheel, but it's sort of got a little spinny wheel here. Um, so I, I thought, you know, uh, for the price, this compared to the panel, it was basically the same price. And I saved myself the cost of another 100 bucks for a pendant. Now, what this does is sort of has a USB 2, I guess sort of it does have. I'm assuming it's USB um, and it screws into the bottom of this port. Now, this thing wasn't well labeled, and to be honest with you, did not come with any manuals. I did find manuals online for it. Now, I'll do some overlays uh, for you to see some of the pin connections, and what I'll also do is I will put this manual on a resource page on the DIY3Dtech.com website for this unit. So if you want to go out there, take a look at it. It's about a 54-page manual. Uh, is showing the connections because we have our stepper outputs here and then we have input controls for uh, limit switches and then we have power input. Now the the instructions as with most typical Chinese stuff is not very clear so it indicates that it's a requires a 24 volt power supply but it, it, it indicates um, and I'll do the overlay that it's up to 24 volts so I don't know if this will run off 12 volts but you know, can go up to 24 volts, so I'm going to have to do a little bit more homework on it. The outputs, while poorly labeled here, the one on Amazon, because I did pick this up to Amazon and I'll have a link for it, uh, had a little bit more details here, but the overlays, as you can see, uh, the configurations are your atypical logical outs uh, that would drive a stepper driver. So the idea is, is the pinouts from this go to the stepper driver, and so you have to have uh, stepper drivers for this. Now, what 
my goal is is to take this and wire it into the existing stepper drivers of the 3040 uh, machine I have, just like I've done with Garbo. So if you look back, I did an episode, um, actually probably a couple, where I set up uh, uh, Garbo on an Arduino to interface with the parallel port to act as my communication mechanisms with the 3040 CNC that have worked out very well. My main issues with Garbo has, have been the USB connection from whatever my sender is to the Arduino itself. And so that's where a lot of my level losses come in. And, and to be honest and kind of help maybe some of you that's out there having this problem, because if you look back, I did an entire series on this problem. And it's the cheap Chinese UART um, that a lot of the uh, clone Arduinos are using. Uh, my recommendation is use a full-fledged Arduino. But then again, as I've said, I want to do four axis, and this gives me the ability to do true four axis uh, without swapping the X. So something that's important to me for further experimentation. Uh, so th what I've seen so far out of this, this really to wire this in will be no different than what I had to do to wire in my uh, Arduino to control it. So my fingers crossed. Now, one of the things I'm a little bit concerned about, I did see uh, another YouTuber that had the panel version that were driving his steppers and th that this, this configuration was the panel version, which I think pretty much the panel version and this pendant, what I'm going to refer to as a pendant version, are pretty much the same electronics from the way it looks. Um, we're sending too fast and I'll have the send rate I think it's 1250 kilohertz or something like that we're sending steps too fast to his drivers and he had to upgrade his drivers so I don't know if this is going to be a problem with the 3040 or not so this is something I'm going to have to experiment with and kind of learn to see so you guys can come along for the ride and learn for yourself if you've got experience with this let me know in the comments below what kind of um, things you've bumped into with this or what kind of you know uh, you know traffic you've had to run with it I'd be interested in hearing uh, but probably by the time you see this I'll have already had it wired into the 3040 but again I just wanted to share this with you I, and I think for the money um, this is a pretty good value again four access control kind of you know almost commercial grade uh, for the 3040 CNC and this is what I'm really trying to get to uh, with, with a lot of this channel I'm really talking a lot about the business aspects of making and uh, to make you have to have some serious equipment and this is one of the pieces that frustrated me about Garble is I want to focus on making doing production runs or small semi commercial production runs I don't have time to be messing with the UART and all that kind of other stuff so I'm hoping this provides a solution oh because um, that's what I want to mention it comes with its own little USB drive that plugs into the bottom here so you load your G code on here just plug it in this drive comes up on the screen and Bob's your uncle and you're, you're off cutting so again this really seemed to be a nice uh, configuration it loses the PC from the equation altogether uh, it goes to a direct drive. I don't have to worry about huge firmware updates. I'm hoping so we'll see um, And again have more of a production ready unit. So again stay tuned more to come on this uh, Don't forget bell icon is going to be over there That's a reminder to go down below hit that bell icon till you get the parent So you're notified and I release new content like this that you guys will probably find interesting Don't forget swag shop up in the corner a lot of great maker stuff up there for you makers out there to show your maker pride And we'll see you guys in the next video where we're doing something else cool like this and watch for a future video Where I show you how to wire this guy in cheers Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.